Whoa! Oh, this is done by Bandai Namco. It's pretty quiet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. I uh, appreciate appreciate the love in the last couple videos. The new viewers, new subscribers, shout out to you. Huge thank you for your support. And hope it was as entertaining as the view count makes me think it is. So, I'm going to continue to keep producing more. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Because here we are, Man of Badan. New series. I'm going to play all four games in a row. That's my next goal. I do have another game that I'm going to surprise you guys with. It's kind of a low-key game, not too famous, I think. So, so stay tuned for that. But here we go. Let's jump right into Man of Badan. Play alone, because I am forever alone. I don't know what this is. Um, I like Challenger, because I am challenged in the head. Very much so. It's a big fucking boat. Oh yeah, before I forget. Um, if I get to 100,000 subscribers, I'll start recording with the camera. So you know what to do if you want to see my face. Yeah, yeah, let's pound her back, brother. Yeah, Joe and Schmo. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <laughs> Whoa. Seems quiet. Stop the press. Right. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey. Give me a quarter. Ni hao. That's all I got. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Dude. Choices matter. Um. Will I be rich? I can so, fuck uh, with my son. Trades update. What is that? Why aren't you looking at me? Look at me. Come on, look at me. Insecure, selfish, <clears throat> selfish, altruistic. Why aren't I eager? Reckless, insecure, altruistic, guarded. Okay. When am I gonna hit the jackpot? You know, uh, all that glitz and glamour. So what? One guy speaks English and um. Dragon. I see blood. Okay. It fish. It looks like a fish. I like fish. I like turtles. Fuck yeah, I'm insecure, hey, what? baby. What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Do I have an accent or not? I can't tell. Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, he does have a little bit of fucking southern accent. Fine, sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. Yeah, that's how cheap is. Just a quarter. I'll give it a whirl. 
here we go. QTEs, baby. the karate master now wouldn't you know it? Huh. hey chuck we better get back to the ship we don't want to get stranded come on man just let me ask another question we really need to get back my penis ever get bigger that boat looks scary Is that a body or something? Radioactive. That's it, right? Or poison? I don't know what the logo is. I'm not a fucking scientist. Nice, it's not pleasant. It's not kosher, it's not demi. Oh boy. What the no fucking way. It's coming. I know it's coming. What's he doing though? Why you touch me like that? Joe sick bay. Oh, okay. I can walk around. Picture. To pops. Come back soon. Oh, I have a child. Can't go that way. I'm locked in. What else we got here? Can't go that way. Door. Rip open. Oh my god. What the hell? What? 
Why was... I'm so confused. Why was he locked in the locker? But I was fine in the bed. That looks like you got beat the shit out of. That's all I got. Alright, well... See ya, pal. You're already dead. What's, what else can happen? Let a low taper fade. Not that way. I don't like these angles, man. These angles are creepy. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. This guy looks... Like he has a like, few screw looses, you know what I mean? Like he looks... Uh, holy shit. Man. for a sec. So what, this guy just doesn't check his corners? Did you not listen to Captain Price? Why are they just going around shooting each other? Is army common practice now? And we're following him the same way? What the hell? Is that a child? Okay. Yeah, this guy's boy is definitely deficient. If you catch my drift, oh, there's something I can do over here. I saw some glow. What you what you glowing, brother? Hey. Help. Help. Oh my god. Fuck no. I'm sitting so yeah, close to my screen. Fubar and that song. I forget what Fubar stands for. Fucked up beyond all repair or something? Me no no. Me no no. My toe grow. I broke my toenail last year, I completely lost it. I had bare toe for a bit, and then it grew back. Thanks for tuning in to my TED talk. Damn Whoa! Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor uh, looks like he's playing the fiddle. We're just gonna have this POV. Cock. It's this fucking angle. I see you. You're staring at me, right? My guy's <laughs> walking like an idiot. <laughs> Jesus Christ, don't knock all lights get the fuck out of me. You see that kid over there? Uh no? You feeling alright? Huh. Oh. Uh oh. Excuse me. Yeah, let's walk towards the bodies. Charlie, get over here. People are bad, Charlie. Grab that whip because <laughs> you might have to 
kill one of your own here. Are you ready, Joe? That is a child. This place looks scary. Holy shit. Wait, is that Charlie? Oh god, no. Charlie! Is he hallucinating Charlie was behind him the whole time? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, uh, I don't want to shoot through there. Because I think my hallucinations are driving me crazy. Oh, maybe I should have. Huh. Maybe I should have shot. Is that it? Is that game over? Did I fuck it up? Mayday! Oh. Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! Uh oh. What the fuck? Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death. If glass eye. Stories such as this one. All right, curator. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. Hmm. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out Ooh, i can kill people you see like we each make decisions according to our own moral compass and we have to live with those decisions or die by them but you shouldn't fear death it is after all inevitable it is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes eventually to everybody mm -hmm. still None of us want for it to come too soon. The only thing guaranteed in life are death and taxes. As in life, the actions you take matter. Okay. The choices you make will affect others. All right, curator. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures oh. if you can find them and study them they may just help you to make better decisions okay okay or should i say decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer yeah because it's my story curator that's all for the moment we'll talk again soon enough we'll have the opportunity to account for mm -hmm. all the actions that you've taken okay or whatever mess you've made yep guarantee it'll be a mess We're off. 
to the sunset. The Duke of Milan. Wait, isn't this game called the Man of Medan? The boat's called the Duke of Milan. Yo, dogs out. Bird of boys on a Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday. What is it? Witty Brad, Alex's brother, in a scent. All right, Witty Brad. Got the alcohol. Motivated Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend, insecure. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kinda, yeah. Oh my god. Um. Resentful. I had I to do work. To. I just didn't, I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. Yes. Yes. Oh boy, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Little bro, be cool. Yo, what? don't little bro me. Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Damn. All right, Alex. Not good with people. Dude, you know I'm not like the best around new people. Whatever. Just shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but I mean like we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. I'm just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> legends. All right, amigo. Legends never die. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... Horny. When you medical school, would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance things, Julia, it's been This rough. guy's in med school? Yeah, empathy. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh... I can't the thing I'm trying to make a decision about. It's four inches big. Med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Give it some thought. You sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Oh, what does that mean? Bearing? No MC core set. What the fuck is it? What is this? Okay. I don't know what that is. Hey! Mm. Excited Julia! Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend. Foolhardy Conrad. Ju Wait, this guy looks fucking so familiar. Way to go, witty Alex. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? It's Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, comrade. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Oh, hey, bro me. Bradley. Hey, hi, how are I, think I already know you. I've heard so much about you. She can eat. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Uh, uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Yeah, cool. Let's have yeah. a beer. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Tight, we're bringing that back, eh? Way to go, Chad. Chris. I can't remember. <laughs> Matt? Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. Oh, he is Brad. It's Jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? <laughs> Never. I'm not dying. This guy is um, not dying. No, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're going to pop your chip.
What was that, Conrad? Oh, he likes me. <laughs> Who's Fliss? Together. Gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> right, that's all weird. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper, anyhow? Oh, this is Fliss. Captain of the du Impatient Fliss. Alright, I'm Impatient. Cool tattoo. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? <laughs> the fuck's wrong with you, Fliss? I'm buying. What's wrong with her? What the fuck? That's almost kidnapping. Not really, but you know, it was so fast paced. I had to drop my beer. <laughs> Attaboy. Attaboy, Brad. But That's it. Get it all out. Uh, yeah. yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. At least she's nice to him. Little boy. Maybe. Okay, I'm Alex here. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some about nice it? places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Let's be optimistic. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, oh, you don't- fuck. Fist didn't like that one. Have unlimited Damn. daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Looks a penis. It's feast your eyes. My penis. penis. Oh. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss. We found a plane! Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Disappointed. Wait, are you saying we shouldn't dive? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. Oh, well, that's not an answer I would have chose. Don't touch anything. Oh, I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Take right a look at my camera. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Hmm. Oh, I can move. I hope there might be a way in. Hey, hey. What's up, babe? Almost got the gear good to go. Yeah, you want to go downstairs? <laughs> Need a hand? <laughs> Need an extra hand? Never used a rebreather before. I think we're in good shape. It's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work. Gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. Fucking, she's right there. Um... Yeah, I know. Let's just play cool for now. Cool? Did she not like that? Hey. There's no point in antagonizing her. If she tries to me from bitch. doing this dive one more time, that's it. Gloves off. That's fair. Just don't force her hand. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Yeah, she's a rich bitch. Just holler at us when you're ready. Uh, Alex is going to be single by the end of this. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. I like gaps. Okay, that's it. 
Rhino Clayers. Wow, cool. Alright, well, let's go see how Braddy Poo's doing. After Flissy Poo. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, let's yeah, apologize. Sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules, and laws, and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? I've had a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. I get it. I'll just say nothing. I don't like either of these options. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Alright, this bitch and the other bitch pissed me off. Where's my big bro? Oh, hold on. He said something about pictures. Huh. What am I looking at here? <laughs> what the fuck? Premonition. That's his little brother, right? That's Brad. And he's stuck in the shitter. Okay, so he poops somewhere. Okay, gotta keep an eye out for poop. Poop. It's this poop cell. What's up? Oh, it's his bed. How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Don't worry. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to script the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. I need the brothers on good sides, you know what I mean? Some push comes to shove. It's me and him against the world. Dicks. Wow, this is some good stuff, man. It's very good. I know how to read. <laughs> get that wrist workout in, bro. Oh, what's in here? Hey, guys. Tanks are ready. Oh, that's what her name is. Felicity. Felicity Du Bois. 5'8", 120 pounds. Hello. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Uh -huh. Eager Beaver. Thanks for sending me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. No problem. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. I'm rich. You behave, Connie. Oh, yeah, get the shank going. Uh. Let's take the camera. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Mm -hmm. Give us some. What the fuck was that face? Let's show her mouth. Just remember the rules, please. Oh, baby, you bet. Maybe we can fire it up again tonight for our private post dive special. <laughs> Are you gonna bring your bang stick? <laughs> that front cabin is gonna pop its portholes. Holy fuck! What the fuck? She yells? I don't know what the hell's going on. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Maybe I should have took the fucking shock stick. 
Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. Wow. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. And that's what she said. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable photo. Hey, watch your like... Let's swim around a little and That's all your family friendly. <laughs> Howdy, What's up, baby? You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. No. We Pass. need to focus. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? So, uh, don't ask a lady you about her money. I'd like to ask a lady about her money. Fair enough. I was just thinking about buying a boat myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Sure. <laughs> it would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. It's 30 uh, degrees you know there, what? Right? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Oh, I'm controlling her. Beep. Weather looks clear. Let me check on Brad. I gotta take a shit. Oh, another picture. Oh my god, is that a pirate? Keep these around. Is that a fucking pirate? I think it is. Holy shit. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation then. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. And you can I overdo me too. I'm officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Concerned. Hope I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. <laughs> Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. <laughs> Check you later. What a weird way to end the conversation. Oh, hold on. Was that another shiny? Yeah, that was. The loan hold reminder re remainder of twenty four thousand seven hundred and eighty three thirty four hundred a month. Times are tough. Duke of Milan, twenty miles north of the coast. Over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Inquiring about guidelines regarding an unidentified sunken wreck in this vicinity, over. Any tampering with a wreck, identified or not, will result in prison or fine or both, over. Holy fuck. Roger that, thank you, over. That's pretty Duke severe. Of Duke of Milan, are you reporting a finding? What is the nature of this call, over. Um... Up full port. We'll have a full report when we return to shore. Over. Reminding you that you are not to enter any wreck without an official dive dossier from the offshore relics registry. Over. Understood. Hey there. How's it hanging? Um. Relaxed. You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. Um. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all <laughs> my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep... Oh, okay. Yeah, let's see it. I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later. 
when I can give you my full attention. Holy Congrats. shit, man. Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> that was fast. What's this? Okay. That was very easy. It's not even flirting if you just fucking give it up. Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. They dead. Oh, what's that? What's that about? That's not the Coast Guard. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, yeah, this feels off. This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? This is pretty much what that picture envisioned. What the fuck? Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Damage here, you see this? Oh my fucking god. Boat. We can take care of this man, it's not a problem. What do you think? Like uh ten bucks cover it? Oh. oh whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Okay, well let's stop that. Well shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. Alright, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. That guy is a glass eye. That was definitely a butt pirate. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Lucky I was paying attention there. So. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. <laughs> uh, ladies first? Yeah, that's why I always went. Explore the wreck plane. I don't know what there is to see here. Just a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it! I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go! Can I just go? It's just. Oh, I can't go up. Okay. On a Tuesday. Is that the bullet in Milan? Oh, what was that? Oh. What in the fuck is this? Bullet holes. All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb wrap to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. I think it's healthy. Why is he grabbing it there if it has a handle? Come on, Alex, what are you doing? You're letting us down, brother. Hello? Okay. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Wanna go first? There goes the shank. Oh my god, is that a gun? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh no, fuck! My wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. 
Oh, fuck off. Hold on. Give me a break. Oh my god. I was so fucking close to the screen there. Dude, that's fucking... That's pretty much kissing my monitor. <laughs> oh my god. That scared the life out of me, man. Pilot <laughs> and co-pilot. It was just an eel. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. What was he looking at though? If he was, if he died in that position, oh, I can move. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> should I be oh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. My gosh. Just don't touch anything else, please. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what are you scaring? Can I go back in? Good God. I'm digging your shoot. <gasps> oh my God, it's the compass of Milan. What the hell happened here? I think they sunk. Oh boy. What's in there? Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Yeah, it's Maybe it is dangerous. Kind of dangerous. Be smart, bitch. What's that? Did she have a heart attack? What the fuck was that? She has a heart attack. Okay. That she does in natural causes. Whoa. Oh, okay. Uh oh. We gotta get out of here now! It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Does that mean it's like gay or something? I don't know why I said that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. I, uh. What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh. I don't know. I. I. Wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Playful. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? <sighs> it doesn't matter. Let's Whoa. get back up to the top. Okay. Jeez, Alex. You're more of a wreck than that plane that just literally fell apart on top of us. Give me a break, okay? Come on. We've really got to get okay, up. At least Alex like that. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Uh oh. What'd they do? Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa. Whoa. Damn. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait. We have to decompress. Uh, let's decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. I don't know what that means, though. Fuck it, let's go. Fuck it, I'm going. <laughs> Alex gets eaten by a shark. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. <laughs> JJ. Oh, it was the fucking... Huh. The barbecue. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, 
What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, <laughs> there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. Well, I mean... Oh. What'd I do? <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> what? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. A little bit, Alex yeah. and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Yeah. Both seem out of their depth. A little bit. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, bold you, fellow might you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. A little bit, yeah. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong. Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Oh yeah, they're fucking tonight. I got that fucking seed Let planted. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions Special they'll feature. value later on. And some I think they may regret. I did. What'd I do? Should they not be porking? How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. You took the bullet? Hey there. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh, I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? What an experience. I expected it to be cool, but that was that was like life-changing cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. What do you mean? What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Bullshit. You're staring off into the ocean like a zombie, and now you're all grumbly. I'm sorry. Just tell me what's up. I guess I've just been worrying about things a lot lately. About us. But I'm content. There's nothing to worry about, really. I honestly don't know what got into you. Everything's great. Okay. Yeah. You're right. What the fuck I'm is up, Alex? And Con what the fuck, Alex? Fliss. What the fuck is up? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? They're dead. Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. They're fucking, aren't they? Jesus Christ, Jesus Conrad. Christ, Conrad. <sighs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Huh. <laughs> yeah, boy. Now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Oh, fucking quick response. Oh, look at that booty. Seen kind of pretty active pad. Picture. Boink. That's a fucking weird face on both. See, I told you it was a weird face. Wow. Ooh. Ah. Wow. Ah. E. Ooh. Ah. E. Wow. Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Yeah, come find me, big boy. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? 
Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. On a Tuesday. Come here, you vixen. Yeah, that's it. Come here, big boy. <laughs> Easy, tiger. We should get back. What the fuck? Right here. She's getting on it. There, sailor. Um, excuse me? But careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen hey, bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Leave me alone, like Buster. A bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Listen, oh, listen to Alex. I'm telling you not to take orders from this guy, just drink a beer. Cautious. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Damn right, brother. Manchurian Fuck you, gold. Conrad. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one wow. in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Okay, maybe. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. <laughs> not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what a way yeah, to change. I heard a story. What a way to change. right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good She's show. freaking out. She's like, yeah, damn straight. Yo, you got a good story? Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. <laughs> stop okay. calling me. Stop me, man. This Dude. story is true. Hey, it had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Back mind. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical. That's and his sister's parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse. And there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Well, if I do. I'm just reporting the facts. Sure. Cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets. We have an axe. Embellish? No. 
so gross. gross. Okay, so who did it? There's no way he says, didn't like that. It was my husband. And she turns oh. to the closet. What the fuck? Says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. The man of a den. But he's got oh. his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees. It's his own face. <gasps> and then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Whoa! Gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. What the fuck was that? That wasn't his face. Nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Fuck you, little bro. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. You're damn right. Following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Now. In the dark of night. That's cute, she holds her own hand. Duke of Medan, Milan, Milana, Melania Trump. What the fuck? Cheap it on the duct tape, at least. The fuck's wrong with these guys? What, what's wrong with you? Mm. Let's blast out, fellow. I'm gay, Alex. I think Alex is the person we want in a sticky situation, you know what I mean? We want as many people hands-free as possible. They have knives. Hey, that's so flexible. Good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh god, 
Damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey, that's a little strange. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. They're gonna tickle us. <laughs> I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. We're in a lot of danger. Okay. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> he's a big pussy. We're in a lot of danger. That's right, rub asses together here. Shit. Oh, okay. Come on. What the fuck? Fuck out. I'll be back for you later. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Where the fuck are these guys going? Where these guys are from, I can't get the accent. Be on your best behavior, little man. Okay, <laughs> yes, father. Okay. Okay. Brad and all this. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Wait, wait, no! No, oh, God. Stop it, let her go! You bastards! Hey, lipstick. Shut the fuck up. What do they even want? I don't think they're gonna hit her. They have an influence. I don't think hitting is like your worst concern. Getting buddy buddy with him. Did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. Turn around. What if they just start going at it? What I mean, what are those other guys gonna do? Pirates gonna do? You know what I mean? I want this your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. <laughs> Me too. Fuck, motherfuckers! Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? This oh, voice. They didn't touch Anything me. Anything you okay? They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. <laughs> hold on to the scissors, man. You'll probably need them. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Done, done. Not if Brad's on the case. Three, 
eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. These fuckers need to pay. These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. It's too loud. They'll hear it. We're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. What's Brad gonna do? I thought it was eight. Sorry, I thought it was eight seconds. Conrad, go on the other side. We'll hit him together. I thought it was eight seconds. Why did they do it on six? Oh, shit. escaping. The fuck was that? That was your attack? You pretty stupid. That was his attack? Conrad! Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. I can't believe that was a fucking Stop. plan of attack. Ferme la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. What well, like, it's French. What is this, Cayman Islands or something? Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is gonna tell me about this... Manchurian goof? Pardon? That's what they're fucking after. What's the fuck? Are they gonna talk about the major and gold? Just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Oh. It isn't true, my friend. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. They're this all in this. You set us up. Yeah, yeah, so. Put a cork in it. I'm gonna clean up blood off your face, pussy. <laughs> oh, oh, I think it was on the controller. <laughs> Sit still. Follow you. I think I smacked the mic there. Come with me. Hey, leave her alone. That's alright, Mr. White Knight. Hey, leave her alone, Buster. Bye. 
find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishing? And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Um. I'm asking for help. He won't shoot me. Back into the face. That was a brilliant idea. You'll be caught either way. You motherfuckers won't get away with this. The police is gonna hunt you down. Dream on. Ocean's a big place. Easy to get lost. This guy's fucking ugly. Look, my hands on the controller there. After number one, real smooth. Great leadership, Fliss. What happened? Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? Yo, shut up. I don't know where he is. What are you guys talking about? Him? You can help. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Still alive. Proud. Things could have been quite different. How different could it have been? Kind hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Yeah, sure, I'll take some. <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Huh. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Yeah, grab your liquor, buddy. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Nothing is as it seems, all right? Thank you, Mr. Curator. Okay, 
I think that's a good place to stop. So that's part one. Man in Medan. Min Milan. The bitchy boat driver. Kidding. I don't know. I control her, so am I the bitch? I think I'm a bitch at that point. Thank you guys for tuning in. That's part one of Man in Medan. Um, stay tuned for part two. If you guys enjoyed this series, leave a comment below because it's going to be a nice fucking four-parter here. Uh, probably a lot, of, a lot of parters because I don't think I can beat the games in like two parts. So, But there's going to be four games. So there's a lot of content coming, fellas. I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Remember, if we get to 100,000 subs, I will start recording my face. You'll get to see my pearly whites and my receding ass hairline. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Peace.